to another episode of Speaking Birds. It's your boy Speaks. We are back. We're looking ahead at week two. Week one, we were in Brazil. Rocked Brazil. Rock, rock in Brazil. We came back with that dub. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go 2-0. and But today is a special episode, all right? I've been trying to get this guy on something, whether it be Speaks Happy Hour, Speaking Birds, big time Birds fan, uh, and we got him today, guys. Let's let's give a uh, let's give a hearty welcome to uh, the boy John McGeehan. Let's go. What is go up, birds. my dude? Go birds. Go. Glad go to birds. be here. Appreciate it. Uh, first guest. Is that right? That yeah, you are the first guest, and we'll we'll say we'll okay. say co-host. We'll say co. Oh, okay, co-host. All right, I like it. Revolving door, man. I, I've said yeah. whenever you want to hop in, we're out here. Hop out. Yes, yeah, sir. Man, we we texted we texted back and forth like during the game. But what did you think overall about the birds' performance and and everything uh, in Brazil? Well, I thought uh, it started a little rocky. Obviously, you know, two turnovers, uh, one in the red zone. I don't, actually two in, pretty much in the red zone. You know, with the first pick six or not pick six, but pick. But uh, I never lost faith, like I said, and uh, you know. Came out victorious. Yeah, yeah, like the, yeah. You're 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 a not lose faith guy. I'm like a like one minute like the sky is falling, and the next minute we're we're Super Bowl bound. But you're you're you got to keep that got to keep that uh, that that heart steady. You know, that's for sure. That's for sure. You can be a uh, kind of crazy guy sometimes. Yeah, I uh, you know watching uh, watching. I mean, I don't want to harp too much on it, but we'll, we'll spend the whole time talking about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean the game. The, the the game kind of worried me, and uh, and I gotta say, I mean, the biggest thing, and I'll be looking for this in week two, like the biggest thing, uh, I'm looking for is is can Hertz protect the football, uh, you know, because in there he's throwing two interceptions. He should have been, he should have had that pick six, honestly, late in the game. He's he's throwing interceptions. His his passes kind of look ill advised at times, and and kind of like rookie mistakes. So I'm gonna be watching to see if uh. To, to see if he can protect that ball and like, you know, be the 2022 Hertz. What do you think about, what do you think about his play? Well, I'm, I'm with you there and you got to protect the football. That's number one, but, uh, you know, a couple of the decision-making early on in the game, obviously he's not making the greatest decisions. And then you even get into the, I think it was third quarter where he, there was the screen out on the sideline and, um, he's just staring the guy down over and over and there's a guy on him and then he almost throws the, the pick six. You know, I think that's a little crazy, but, uh, I will say this. I think the fourth quarter was hurts his realm. He was starting to get a little dialed in and uh, a little bit more comfortable. You know, it looked like the hurts that I remember. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely, he definitely settled in. And I'm not saying, I feel like, I feel like the criticism of hurts is always like not met with like the positive stuff. I feel like, uh, you know, he made a lot of good plays too. There's and, no doubt uh, about that. Uh, the run he made, it was, I think it was like a third, maybe second down. I can't remember exactly which play, but he made a nice, good read on a run there and made a nice run. And then, you know, took care of the football in that fourth quarter. That's the main, keep the main thing, the main thing, you dude, know, I, <laughs> dude, I, I, I love those quotes. Yeah. He's man. He's he, like him, him in the media. It's crazy. Love it. Um, your boy, your boy, AJ, you, you texted me a little bit ago. We talked AJ Brown injured. So I'm not sure. I didn't get to do too much research. I was, uh, obviously I, I talked to you earlier. I was floating the river and then a, a buddy of mine messaged me and said there was something going on with the hammy, but I'm not sure I can look it up as we're doing this. So, 
Yeah, it's on there. It's a hamstring injury. Brown, uh, he was added to the Eagles practice report as a limited participant. Hamstring injury. Sheesh. I don't like that. They can be naggy. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Man, because, like, oh, man, he's like, he's ready to feast. I, I hate, I'll tell you what, this is a hot take. Maybe this won't be so hot. I, I hate, man, you see on, like, Instagram and TikTok, these reels of people doing their, like, top five receivers and aj brown is like never mentioned never that. never on there and i'll tell you what like even before aj brown was an eagle um <laughs> he'd have been on my top five of wide receivers just because i like that big physical megatron ish you know yeah like uh, dk yeah wide receiver even before dk i think he was the year before dk or was he the same year i can't remember I, uh, maybe the same year. Yeah, maybe the year before. I don't I know. They was, were both second yeah, rounders. I, I remember year, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was the year before, but I could be wrong on that. Yeah, but that just that irritates me, man. Because yeah, he would be. I mean, who, who would you even put? Who would you put ahead of him? I mean, we got okay. All right, let, let's do this. Let's break it down. I, I think yeah, we let's got. Do it. Let's do it. I think I would put if yeah if I'm doing top five. I mean, this is no bias. Now I just said I just like talked all this smack. Now he's gonna be like seven. <laughs> On my list. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. All right, I'm going to put... Man, I, uh, I think you got to go Tyreek 1. That's that's mine. Uh, 2, I think I'd go JJ. Maybe not even. Maybe 2, I'd go AJB. Then JJ. Mm. Then... Uh, uh, man, I want to go Smitty, but I, I don't know. I mean, you could go CD, but I'm not going to put a Cowboy on there. No, and then, I'm going uh, Let's see if, uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the last two are pretty much, I think there's a lot of guys that could, uh, could fill that. That last For two. sure. For sure. I don't, I, I, I don't know. The fact that he's not in the top five is astronomical to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who were your top three? I'll be honest. I really don't know. I mean, he's got to be top three for me for sure, but I'm a diehard Eagles fan. So it's hard to not yeah. put him up there, but still even like, I don't, I just don't know. I, I like Tyreek Hill. He's a monster, but yeah, you, know, uh, you see Tua last night getting the concussion. I think that's going to drastically um, impact what Tyreek Hill's doing. Um, For sure. Maybe not, maybe not but um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who to put in there. I don't, I don't, I'd hate to say just Justin Jefferson's better than him because AJ Brown is just a monster. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I don't, the people that watch Eagles, I feel like we're on prime time yeah. enough. And I feel like, I feel like we have a pretty big like media presence, uh, to, to where people are aware. We're not this like sleeper team. So and then know. He, he, you know, you always get the people you got the Hopkins or Adams, you know what I mean? And it's like, well, Adams, you know, on the Raiders, maybe they're, you know, Sure, he's probably one of the best wide receivers in the league, but just being on the Raiders, that hurts you, you know what I mean? So it really yeah. is team dependent as well, you know? So it's it's hard to say. Well, A.J. Brown did it with the Titans, and I, they didn't have a great team. So he was putting up numbers there. I'll tell you this, and I, I remember messaging you this um, as far as A.J. Brown. Like I'm like, when we were drafting, I think the the guy was Burks. It's actually who the Titans drafted. Um, when they traded Brown to the Eagles, it was a uh, Burks or something like that. And uh, I, I just kept saying like, we need a guy like AJ Brown, like a possession receiver, a big, strong yep. guy, you know what I yeah. mean? And I like that Burks guy. And then they ended up trading, you know, AJ Brown from the Titans to the Eagles. And then they Thank drafted God. the Burks guy who had like asthma or like some <laughs> kind of, I don't up. know what happened there. You know what I mean? He just hasn't, yeah, hasn't panned out. I guess I don't know. He, uh, yeah, he he hasn't panned out. And yeah. it's it's funny yeah. too because man, I keep the receipts on this. I remember going to like online and and seeing like the Titans fans and they're like, yeah, let AJ walk. We got Burks, Burks, and it's like, come on, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remind me in three years how this. Yeah, out. I don't. You don't even hear about him anymore. Yeah. Well, we hope he's okay, man. Because I like that. Like that totally limits. I mean, think about. Think about like going into the season. I mean, like, man, we're stacked on wide receiver and like slot receiver. You know, we, we can put Smitty in there. Minus AJ Brown, we're like thin again. Yes and no. I think the Dotson thing um, with the first game 
minus AJ Brown. Yeah, I don't like it, you know, to be honest. But uh, he gets Smitty out there, and then maybe Dotson obviously gets a bigger role. He didn't have a role at all, really, you know, other than to do whatever small role he had in the game. And I don't think he had a target, maybe one. I can't remember. But um, I think he'll come on too. I, I think he's a great uh, wide receiver. And then I don't know if you get somebody else out there. Like, um, I know they it's got dead. Johnny Wilson. Yeah, they got um, Covey. It could be a good slot guy. I God. think. You know, if I see, I, I, I love him. <laughs> yeah, but if I, I don't see know, him, try I don't that. Know. it gives me the Wes Welker vibes. Well, we'll see, man. I, I hope so, dude. I hope yeah. you're right because yeah. that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a dallas goddard game incoming oh that'd be huge too for sure yeah we got we gotta get him going man we gotta get we gotta get dallas going. it's hard it's hard to spread it around when you have nothing but threats everywhere you go you know yeah yeah i was excited to see what they do like with uh with smitty in slot like see that more well, he's um a, smitty's a monster wherever he's at he's one of the best route runners there is in the nfl man so humble i i know i we I've I've talked about this, but like I know I've texted you. He he's such a humble and like good dude. Like losing that, not that he lost anything, but not being named a captain after you know being named a captain the, the year prior. I mean, like most most dudes might be upset about that, and you might be able to see it, but he's such a team guy. Yeah, that kind of hurt me. I don't know. I don't I don't like seeing it. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I guess he didn't get the votes or whatever, but I I don't think that's something that you take away from the old boy, but I, you know, obviously he's going to be all right with it and he's going to do what he needs to do. If he's going to be the captain next year, you know, he'll, he'll be that. Yeah. Hassan Reddick, are you picking up the phone and calling Joe Douglas? 100%. I, and for the only reason why, because it is the ultimate fleece job. I love Hassan Reddick though. Being a Philly guy, I think Hassan Reddick would, I, I don't know. in Vic's, um, Defense, obviously, he's probably going to play a little outside linebacker-ish or whatever, you know, because it's more of a 3-4, but I'm 100% calm. Yeah, and what, what would you give up, though? I mean, like, do, would you whatever. only do it? <laughs> would you only do it if it was a fleece, if you gave up If you gave up less than what you got in return? I mean, I'm definitely give. you know, I'd, I'd almost just give back the trade and then pay the guy at this point, you know, but I will say... You know, if we could fleece them, any way we can fleece them, I'm down 100%. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you just, you have to think that a Joe Douglas. Uh, no, nah, he's not having it. He's not going to get, I mean, that's, not that's a like chance. such a, yeah, that's such a, a like not a black a eye as a GM. <laughs> Eagles coming from the Eagles, no chance. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, like, I think Howie's reputation, and I love the like Howie season and you got fleeced and best GM, but. I truly think in like this kind of situation, had this been, you know, what if Howie was like a up and coming GM or didn't have this reputation, you might let the guy fleece you a little bit. Hey, take take this problem off our hands. But there's no way with Howie's reputation a GM is going to let because it's going to be memed. It's going to be memed and it's going to be talked about and made uh, fun of. Yeah, some people can't handle it, but uh, I mean, absolutely, I think you make the call. I'm pretty sure they already did. You think so? Yeah, I, I just think they're already upset because of what happened. They're, they don't even want to answer how he's called. I think that's that's like the reputation thing. I think there's a lot yeah, of teams. Yeah. I think there's a lot of teams like Titans. We fleece them. Well, they fleeced us too with Bayard. But. Oh, they definitely fleeced us with Bayard. Oh, they don't know that we, coaching-wise, put them in the right situation, but... Right. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We'll see. We'll see what he does in Chicago. We were, we were pretty disaster at the end of the year last year. <laughs> disaster, man. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, speaking of defense, uh, what do, what do you think we do about cornerback? I got some thoughts. Corner for this game um, with, I guess the uh, Isaiah Rogers being out again. I think we're gonna probably play Quinion Mitchell outside. I don't think they're gonna go to Ringo. I think they're going to do Quinion, and I liked what I saw from him last week, minus Ooh. the one play he got beat. Um, I'll take that though. Yeah, that was, he's yeah, a which I'll, I'll take it too. You know, it's not a big deal. I don't think uh, you're going to get beat. It's the NFL, so um, I'd like yeah. to see Isaiah Rogers get back in there. Um, obviously, 
Avante Maddox didn't look great, but I think he's going to be okay. You know, he's coming off an injury too, so he's a little rusty. Um, I mean, Avante Maddox, whenever he's been healthy, has played corner or nickelback, you know, pretty pretty well. So yeah. I'll give him that. Um, so, yeah, he I mean, gave up that one thing. touchdown. Then. I don't think they're going to put Ringo in. I, you know, I like Ringo. He has size, but I, I think they're going to just go to Quinion Mitchell of what they did last week that's just my opinion i don't know yeah I'd, I'd have to agree with you i think uh i think i'd keep just because i think i think q are we calling him q kenyan sure. Mitchell, I don't call know. Him whatever you want but i i think he did i think he did good on the outside and yeah i don't see i don't see moving him in no i thought he played well very well yeah. and i mean that begs the question when rogers is back say you know mitchell has another great game you know <laughs> who Who's the odd man out? I don't know. Do you try to move Rogers into the inside? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if he's that versatile. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. You know, I like I like uh Kenyon. He's uh I, I feel like I'm not saying that right every time. It's like it's like uh just just call him, yeah, I'll just call him Q. I feel like Q, he uh he uh he's like this quiet dude, but I've heard he's like real chippy and like talks smack, which oh, I mean. If you don't remember, uh, I think they threw uh, something to the end zone, and uh, it wasn't caught. And um, if you if if you watch the game, like again, you know you'd you'd notice. I think Reed Blankenship uh, ripped him out of the end zone because he was chirping a little bit too much. I do, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, they're they're yeah. getting him a little bit more uh, back to the huddle, I guess. I was I was concerned that he was going to draw a flag. Not that it was like it was, at it that was level, pretty, but I was, you know. Yeah, it was getting there for sure. Getting there for sure. Yeah. Just, yeah, we'll see. Speaking of odd man out, what do you think about uh, N'Kobe Dean being uh, named the starter? I like it. Um, I mean, I always wanted Dean to be the guy. You know, obviously they drafted him to be the guy. Um, but he's had the injuries and, you know, at times wasn't great in coverage. Again, you saw in the game, um, he, I think it was one or two coverages that he blew up. One was a big one. And, um, I don't know. I, I think he's good in the run game. Um, I guess it's a little, uh, to be seen in the coverage game, but for the most part, I like it. I, I which kind of scares me because I've always loved Devin white, you know? Yeah. Same. So I, I don't know. Like is Devin white, not it. That kind of scares me. You know? I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that position, it needs to be, if they can get Devin white on board, I, I don't know. He seems a little disgruntled at the moment, but if they can get him on board, keep him, you know, with a good attitude, I feel like that position needs to be somewhat of like a platoon position because Nicobe Dean hasn't stayed healthy. And, uh, and I think we're going to need, you know, another person like it, like a Dean or no, I'm sorry, uh, like a Devin. White. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah. Devin White, uh, Devin Devin White. White to, uh, yeah. to come in. I, I agree there. Um, obviously Dean's had the injuries. I mean, basically if Dean probably gets another injury and he can't play, uh, that could be the end of his career. It could be very dwindling there, which obviously having Devin White as a backup, that's pretty good because he's a veteran. So I don't know. It, it, it's it's hard to say. I, I, I like the Dean uh, move, but I, I would just trust the coaches there, I guess. Yeah, man. I like just, man, Devin White was such a beast in that Super Bowl, just completely neutralizing Patrick yeah. Mahomes. Now, now Patrick yeah. Mahomes is, has grown into uh a different player, I'm sure, but man, if we could just like unlock Dean, like unlock that Dean in the playoffs, that would be amazing. And Dean moves around real good. I will say that from seeing the first game and like obviously his other games, but he's around. He's moving around. Yeah, man. I'm pumped. I don't know. I'm it feels good. It feels I'm feels hyped. like a good yeah. season. It yeah. does feel good. Yeah. I'm I'm glad because like last year was like the most letdown of all letdowns. Yeah, I've I've said this, uh, you know, all, like in previous episodes, but 
Last season never felt, and everyone said this, it, just, it never felt like we were winning games and like a good team. I agree. It never did. And I, I feel like I want to get back to like, uh, I want to get back to the link. First of all, I think this will be like the true week one, you know, you, you factor in lack of preseason, um, you know, the, the travel, yeah, the grass, the grass you know, a new a center. Disaster. Yeah. Yeah. It was terrible. But I'm looking forward to just like having this be like the week one. Let's see what we got and uh, and get this all that other sure. Stuff. Let's see what our defensive line can do. You know what I mean? Obviously, you know they're out there on skates. It's not getting. They're not getting home. You know, we'll miss tackles left and right. Hundred percent. Yeah, De- defensive backs miss tackled. Like Chauncey Gardner missed. I think two big tackles. So, yeah, yeah, for for touchdowns too, one of them. Yeah, if you can't get footing, man, you can't get tackles either, though. So, agreed to that. Here, here's something I remember from from texting you in the game. Speaking of uh defense, so so you uh, well, we both saw it, but but you seem to uh, you seem to take a uh, a harsher approach know, to this. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah, Darius Slay giving up yeah, on that, yeah, on that play. Well, I think he could have ducked. I think it was a lineman out there um, blocking him. I think he could have ducked that, came in and made a play. But in my opinion, I think he made a business decision. Yeah. And uh, obviously it went on to be a big play, uh, a big play slay, if you will. Yeah. Kind of hurt me. But um, I don't know. I, I, I'd almost have to watch it a couple more times, but. From what I've seen twice now watching it, uh, I think he made a business decision, but you know, <laughs> you can only do what you can do, I guess. Yeah. I'd have to go back and watch because I remember going back and forth with you. I just it looked like a routine play. It looked like yeah. it, looked, it looked like a lack of effort to me more I so agree. than I than agree. like like it wasn't like he was like facing like a block and like he was gonna get blown up. It like literally he just it, it looked like you know it looked like like a magnet. He just like went up against the block and stopped. It yeah, was, like weird. And just like let me get blocked, so it doesn't look so bad. I guess. Man. In my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah have you uh have you have you ever made you you know your way around the kitchen? Have you ever made cheese curds? Uh, I've never actually. Um, <laughs> took cheese and then breaded it and made curds, but I, I could, you know, give you my spiel if you wanted, you know. Yeah, let's let's hear it because yeah, I'll t- I'll tell you how mine went. Uh, but yeah, let's let's hear what you would yeah. do uh, on this. Uh, you know, obviously I'd take mozzarella cheese, even if it was just like string cheese, you know, and then I would take a uh, flour, egg wash. And then some breadcrumbs, maybe of the Italian variety with some spices in there. And, you know, just, you know, obviously dip it in the flour and then some egg wash and uh, dip it in the um, breadcrumbs, you know, with the spices or whatever you want it in there. And then just go for the fry, you know, that's probably it for me. Yeah, yeah, that's up. <laughs> no, you mean by curds? Is that like a smaller thing or? Well, so che- so what I learned through this process, yeah, th- there was actual like cheese curds, like a Wisconsin, um, sure, sort of cheese. Yeah, but yeah, so I, I messed up pretty bad. There's there's a video that I might uh, I'm working on putting out, but uh, man, I did I did beer battered, and I kind of like touched okay. on this on on the yeah, post game. Yeah, that's but, not bad. Oh wait, wait to hear about this. So yeah. I got. Let's hear. It. I got, uh, let's see. Well, so I called up the local. There's a, there's a local place over here. It's, you know, it's got this, like, it's a butcher. It's got like all the craft stuff. And, uh, they, they were like, we don't have cheese curds, but we have, you know, we have this other cheese, like air Air Lumi or something like that. I don't know. But so I get that. And then I go to the grocery store. Cause I go, you know what? Let's try like a Colby Jack. Let's try, you know, like you said, the string cheese. Let's just yeah. get some regular cheese and try that. So I get back and here's a couple things I, Man, the beer batter was great. I, I can make a beer batter, but I, I, uh, man, I, so I, I should have put it, you're supposed to put the cheese in the, fr- in like the freezer, or the fridge just to get them hard. 
And then on the first batch, man, I don't know what I was thinking, but I forgot the flour. Uh. <laughs> so, so I just dumped them in the beer batter. So I, I, I like the, it wasn't sticking. And then, uh, man, it was it was a rare it was a rare L in the kitchen for me. I gotta say, but really, uh, usually yeah. you're pretty on point. Normally I am, man, and I'm willing to admit when I when I take a loss. But then I got I got my head in the game. See, it's not about how you fall; it's about how you get up. So I got my head right. in the game. I started using that flour. I started I started yep. uh, using the heirloomy cheese, and man, I made some good cheese curds. But uh, but yeah, man, it was it was pretty disastrous for uh, for a little bit there for the boy so speaks did, in the kitchen. Yeah. So did you get a little marinara or something? Drop them in. Ah uh, man, to be honest, I didn't even eat them. To be honest, with you, dude. Oh, I did. I like. I, I I nibbled on them, but I was like, I don't. Because then the the cheese that I did got that I did get that worked, it ended up being like super salty, and I'm not really with that. Like, if I can't enjoy it, I had a few, yeah. but I was like, yeah, I don't know. I'll put these in the fridge, and. Uh... But but here's here's what I'm thinking this week and, and shoot me some ideas here. So so for Atlanta, so for anyone who doesn't know, I uh I'm trying to do like an away dish. Uh sure, you know, for Atlanta. For, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, say you're playing Philly, I'd make a cheesesteak, you know. But for Atlanta, I'm thinking like lemon pepper wings. Ooh. You know, might be something. My favorite, but it's it's out there for sure. Not out there, but um just not my favorite. Yeah. Uh, what um, else? He, what else is on the plate? What else you got? Oh, for Atlanta or in general? Yeah, just Atlanta. You know, man, I don't know. I I could just get Chick Fil A, dude. Chick Fil A started in Atlanta, but Jesus, uh, just go lazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe like a peach thing. Like I, I'd really, you know, I might just do like a peach cobbler. Wings are easy though, so I'm gonna do the wings for sure. Put those bad boys in the air fryer. Make like I'll I'll, ma- I'll make the lemon pepper seasoning from scratch. So I'm not just gonna go buy this thing, you know. And uh, okay. okay, and maybe like a peach tea, and maybe I can make like a peach tea, maybe uh, some, no, some like peach. barbecue or anything like that. Or what are we talking? Is Atlanta known for barbecue? I mean, I feel like all down south is known for barbecue. And I guess I could. I guess I was kind of saving that for uh, like Dallas or what? <laughs> well, I don't know Dallas barbecue. What else are they known for? Give Dallas the barbecue realm. Dude, I did have that thought. I was like, man, I like barbecue. I don't want to. I don't want to give Dallas, <laughs> but I can't just make like bunk food because I don't like the yeah, tea. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. Well, you gotta eat it. Somebody's gotta eat it. You know what I wanted to do? I, I didn't talk to you about this. For Baltimore, we're in the preseason. Something I found out: Baltimore is like known for their pit beef sandwiches. Really? Yeah, like they I have like, like nice. Beef. Yeah. Yeah, you'd always also think like you know blue crab or. Right. Like blue crab or Phillips seafood restaurant. You know? I don't have a uh, like a fire pit, but I could I could I could walk into the uh, San Bernardino Mountains now and just drop my uh, drop my foil of beef in there. Nice. It's burning. But uh, I mean, you could do pit pit beef pretty easy, you know. If you can, uh, obviously, if you go into those mountains and dig a little bit of a ditch and put some coals in there, it'd be pretty easy. But yeah, it was it's kind of a joke in poor taste, I guess. You might not know it's on, yeah, it's on yeah, fire. It's on fire. Yeah, it's out fires out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. You don't want to do that then. No. No, no, no. So yeah. uh well let's talk about this. Now I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Uh yeah man said, fire fire them uh, off. Yeah fan uh Vic Fangio obviously the defensive coordinator of the Eagles um, was saying that Bryce Huff didn't play a whole lot because he needs to uh, separate himself, you know, from the team or from getting getting the reps. I guess basically, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, how how do you feel something. about that? Uh, pr- pretty bad, man. Like, I, I don't know. I think there was there's a number out there. It's like, I think it's somewhere like thirty eight to forty million dollars of money that's spent on Huff and Devin White. 
Right. And you know, for for dudes well, that aren't contributing a ton, I do know White is. I think it's seven and a half million. So so seven and a half. What what did we pay? Uh, Huff? What like thirty? I think it was like what thirty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty something. I don't know. I mean, it what wasn't the big knock on him. Like he couldn't. He wasn't a uh, like a pass rush guy. Wasn't that it? No, he was a good pass rush guy. Is okay, why so they brought was- him in. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just seemed like he wasn't like a, uh, like a, um, like a well-rounded, like a player at that position. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong with that, but I think, um, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's been no reports about like his work ethic or, you know, him not doing anything. I I don't know. And I, I feel like the D line is in terrible position. Yes, I, I would agree with you there. The thing of it was, was that when he was a Jet, he was a pass rush guy, and then um, not great against, the uh, obviously, the, um, you know, actual rush, you know, so. Um, but they, I, I feel like maybe they overpaid. He's very small, but I'm not going to get on him too much, I guess I'd say, um, because you know you're playing on ice, so you're obviously not going to get home there. And then yeah. the one, I think the one sack they had got called back, if we remember right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they had a sack. I don't. I forget who it was. I'm not sure if it was Huff, but uh, it did get called back. Okay. And then um, obviously they didn't have any sacks, but it's hard. It's hard to get on the defense for playing on such a terrible terrible piece of turf yeah that's what i was almost gonna say i mean you know going back to like this upcoming week kind of being like the week one in my opinion but there was a lot of like not not hate but i I heard you know we're still calling like nolan smith um you know unproductive and stuff but i don't know i was watching him and it looked like he was he was getting good jumps and he every time he went to turn the corner to like really make his move he was slipping you can see um, that he slipped a lot. So I don't know. I it, it it was I was optimistic about it. It was definitely it was definitely uh, promising to me to see that. Um, but yeah, a lot of these guys are falling over. And um, man, speaking of defensive line, this is something I thought about. Uh, have you have you heard of Josh Sweat or like a Josh Sweat sighting any any time? When was the last time you heard his name? Um, probably mid season last year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, like all training camp, I, I, I haven't yeah. heard of the guy he's out yeah. there, but like, even in the game, I'm like, are we, so, so who's beating out Huff for these snaps? Because I'm not seeing anybody else really, uh, you know, I mean, not only did you not see sweat out there too much, but, uh, you got Brandon Graham playing a good bit too, you know, and you have, you know, Vic Fangio playing or, um, and his presser saying that uh, Brandon Graham's not going to get no celebratory last year. He's going to be playing a good bit. So yeah, which That's which he should, other... man. If he's collecting a paycheck, a hundred percent. Get out there and prove it. <laughs> oh my god! All right, so yeah. let me ask you this: We got the uh, Atlanta Falcons coming up. Obviously, you didn't see Kirk Cousins play his best game. Now we all know Kirk Cousins is not a um, prime time quarterback. What's your thoughts there? Man, I, I do. I can't wait. I, I, I think he is an awful quarterback. I always have. I never got into the hype of Kirk cousins. He, I think he's terrible. And uh, what is he? he? Well, he's, he's got a winning record against the Eagles. I think he's like six and five or whatever, but I did all my memories of him are, you know, trash what like the vikings game what was it like two years ago we were like going into the season it was i think our home opener on week two and kirk cousins was coming to town with the vikings and it Uh was it was it was it was hyped up as this like big game hey both teams are one to know both teams are coming off a good season they're supposed to be good and and i we whooped them and i i just i think we're going to do the same i don't think he's good i don't think that team's good i didn't watch the game against the steelers but i mean come on the steelers yeah. Well, obviously, and, uh, I don't. I don't think the team's that good. So I don't think they'll be that good. I do. I did want Kyle Pitts, your boy, 
Yeah, I thought he was great, but obviously he's been in the league, what, two, three years now and hasn't done anything, but he's never had anybody to do anything with, so it's hard to hard to say there, but. Yeah. Have you, uh, did you know his favorite cheesesteak spot is uh, Ishka Bibbles? Uh, how Pitts or? Um, how Pitts. Pitts. No, I did not. I did not. Yeah, he's a that. Philly guy. Yeah, he's a Philly yeah. guy. So do with that information what you will. Judge the guy. Yeah, and I will. I will judge I, the guy based on that. Yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to have one before I can really judge him. So. Yeah, everyone's got their place, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, yeah, the, uh, uh, last couple times I was down, I didn't have anything that I really liked, so. Really? Did, you went to Angela's? Yeah, wasn't a big, the cheesesteak was great at Angela's, but I thought their yeah. pizza was subpar. Man, have you ever had Tommy Denix like take. the roast pork That's sandwich? That's a hot take there. Because people but, yeah, kill me. Hot, yeah. I, might I, just, get, I, just... I might get hung in the square. <laughs> yeah, so, hold on. Off, yeah, and get stoned. Yeah, I just skimmed Pretty over like that, that like I'm on <laughs> autopilot. Yeah, you just you just said yeah, yeah. you weren't a big fan of Angela's. Uh, you know. So we went to a Phillies game. Let me let me dial it back here. All right, let me rewind it. Yeah, we get yeah, to let, the let game. Say. We're already behind. We're late. Then we, our buddy is, has a uh, in at Angelo's. He's gonna call us, call our food in. You know and. We're late to even get that. We're an hour late to even get our food. And then uh, then we got to take it from Angelo's to the back to the Philly Stadium, you know, and oh, yeah. eat it there. So it's it was kind of a disaster to begin with. However, I love the cheesesteak. You know, that was great. It was good. And uh, yeah. bread was great. But I just thought the pizza left a little bit to be desired. But, you know, everybody's not the same. Yeah. Hey, man. You, you gotta, hate me you... for it. You got, you got to have your, uh, you got to have your own taste buds. You know, yeah. well, the, the yeah. thing about Angel's, Angel's yeah, they kind of, they kind of kick you out on the street. I remember I got my cheesesteak and I was like, uh, okay. So, you know, we just kind of walked around. It's like, where do we eat this thing? They, there's no yeah. place to eat. Yeah, well, yeah we, we parked at that right aid there to go in and get the food. And I had, to, I had to pee so bad. I went in this re- Mexican restaurant and they were like, you have to buy something to, use the restroom and i'm like oh, that's fine i'll buy a beer you pour me up a beer and by the time i went whatever beer i ordered i think it was like a miller light or coors light i went down used use the restroom came back up they were changing the taps it's like i don't even want the beer anymore i'll just pay you for it oh jeez like, ch- no no it's okay just you know get out of here i was like oh, <laughs> got man. one over on them yeah they were really strict about yeah. their policy worked and them. then worked them worked them so. Here's another here's another hot take here. We we've talked about this. Uh the, the Lane Johnson stat. Okay. Yes. <laughs> like let's, let's dial this up. Yeah. I where does that come from? Because this has been going on for years, man. And I love Lane, yeah. but it's irritating to me. Uh biggest Lane Johnson fan there is around, but um tired of Philadelphia not giving the man sacks. Like it's been it's like insane. what two years? Since he's had a sack, obviously he gave one up in the first game. It was disgusting. Now, I get it. He thought it was a penalty, and they jumped. Whatever. The guy comes around him. He pushes him. He actually makes contact with the guy. And then the guy gets a sack. And then you're not going to give him a sack? I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. And here's here here's like the other thing, too. I mean, sometimes when I... This has happened, yeah, like you said, for the past a couple of years. But every time, every time it happens, I always think in my head, I, I see the stat and I go, I go, you know, maybe, maybe I did, maybe I watched something wrong, or like maybe. But this yeah. one was clear as day. I mean, it goes right by him, and and there was nobody else in on the play but Lane and the guy who was supposed to block, and he just goes and just like gets hurt. That's right. I I just I just don't get it. I don't. I don't know if they're trying to hide something or what, but like, I, or maybe I don't know something about the scoring when it comes to sacks or uh, sacks as opposed to the stat. But uh, I'm just lost. I'm lost on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Here's they gave the... it to Becton. 
Just for being the young guy? I don't know. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But there's <laughs> no know. way. He didn't even, oh, he didn't even go know. anywhere near him. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Man, we're, 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 we're going at Lane. We're going at Angelo's. Who else? Who else? Ben, ben Frank wants some of this? Angelo's. I don't need to get death threats. Yeah, no, we, we both like Angelo's. There's nothing. There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on here. <laughs> so, man, any, uh, any, anything else that you're looking for in the game as we like kind of like land this thing? I don't know. Um, obviously, I need ball security. Um, I'd like to just beat people by like 40 points because I, I think our offense is just great. Um, I'd like to just see the offensive line play better that's one thing i don't think i talked about you know a lot of these runs with saquon you know at times he was caught for negative yards or a no loss and it's like you'd like to see the offensive line play a little bit better there um pick up the blocking schemes the right way uh as far as that i don't know i you know ball security just defensive uh, prowess a little bit more, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I have you noticed? Let's go after Saquon now. Have you like Maybe some of the <laughs> have you noticed was, some, of, some of Saquon's runs? He like he like kind of ran into the blocker a little bit. Like he kind of got, um, I think so. I think he's trying to break something big. I get it. Um, you know, you can only go where you can go, but uh, I thought also thought he had a great game and uh, it's kind of scary what they're going to have with him. Um, yeah. Obviously the, <laughs> the catch in the end zone is crazy. That I was mean, crazy. I mean, that is great. That's a great throw by Hertz. Number one. Yep. But, uh, that is just phenomenal job getting your body in there. The, the two feet down. Um, and then a lot of the runs, you know, a lot of times they're not blocked up. Great. I think the O line still trying to, um, find their identity there without Kelsey if that's a decent take, you know, but, um, yeah. Um, you know, you can only run where you can run. Um, as far as that goes, I think that, like he found some ground, you know, which I like, you know, but there was, again, I, I said it earlier, you know, there was a lot of things that were not blocked up properly and he lost like a yard or maybe a new gain. So, right. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to say it's, you know, there's no footing out there. You're playing on ice. It's it's a hard take to say. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, no. He had a great game. I'm not. I was I was just kind of joking, but I, I did notice that. So hey, maybe it wasn't. No, a joke. I'm with you. I'm with you. I mean, you, you you know, we can only run where you can run. So yeah, man. He's he's such a beast. Yeah. What what I'm looking for, I think, the most is um. Yeah, I want to see how Hurts protects the football. Uh, I just I, I don't want to. I don't want the twenty twenty two or no twenty three hertz back, um, and uh, and it, it it looks like he has a it looks like those weren't that wasn't a fluke is is kind of I guess what I'm saying but right um Here, yeah we'll here's see a, uh here's a hot take um I know me and you talked about this through the phone but uh as far as Saquon Barkley. Uh, twenty, I think it was twenty four attempts rushing, as yeah. opposed to what Swift got most of the games last year. I don't know if you want to speak on that. Uh, what what was Swift at? What did uh? I remember what the average was, but it definitely wasn't twenty four. That that Saquon's getting a, more carries than Swift. Correct. I, I don't know. Say. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Um, I I feel like they're kind of I I don't know. Last year, I think we were because. You know, Miles was, you know, he got injured, but he was never Andre Swift. I know, I know. I'm saying like, I think uh, Miles, Miles was pretty yeah, yeah. reliable, but yeah. and then you got you go out and get a guy like Swift, mm -hmm. and and every time he touched the ball, it's like you know you're kind of drilled with this. He can't stay healthy. He can't stay healthy. Thing, right. and right. Uh, and every time he touched the ball, I'm like, God, don't let this be where we lose Swift. And maybe the coaches felt like that as well, and maybe they learned from that and they, they trust Saquon more. But I feel like Saquon and Swift are similar. In that regards, where uh, you know they both have injury, you know history, and and I'm kind of like, please don't let it happen. But I don't know. Maybe maybe the coaches are like, hey, we feel good about him. Like they, he's got a clean, yeah, sure. you know, doctor's report, and, and we're gonna use him. And and maybe it was, 
like take some pressure off Hertz in this first game back and in, in Brazil. And I don't know, but that's been brought up before. Yeah. Great question. Like his, his carries is 24 carries a game sustainable for a guy like Barkley. hundred percent. And not only that, I like to see, I know it's a new offensive coordinator, obviously with Kellen Moore, but like, let's get a run first heavy offense for once, you know, not 50 pass a game type off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, not not to say anything, you know, bad about Swift. I thought Swift was great. Yeah, so, me too. You know, he was top five ish running back, half the carries as most people. You know, at least halfway through the year. So, I thought Swift was great, but you know, we're on Saquon days. So we're on Saquon. Did you see uh, Swift hurdle that dude in, uh, in Chicago? Oh man, yeah, that yeah, was that's nasty, good. nasty. I like Swift, man. Me too. What is what does this team look like if we keep Swift and don't get Barkley? Well, I don't even want to. I like Barkley, but I think better. But Swift was very, very good. I mean, if you don't have Barkley, I, there's no other guy I would want besides Swift. Yeah, I'll throw that yeah, out there. But what else? What else we got? Um, let's see. Oh, another, another thing I wanted to mention that, uh, that I'll be looking for is, uh, like, this is a team that we, sh- we should, uh, yeah, this is a team that we, that we should beat, uh, handedly. You so would think I, I want to see us really go out there and kind of just control the game from the start. Like, I don't want yeah. this to be a close I, game. I want to, I want to leave this game feeling like, game. huh? Let's talk about that game. Let's go. Yeah, well, I just, I just want to, I want to see us, I want to see us like go out and and dominate all, yeah, the the 100%. cliche, dominate all three phases. I want to leave being like we have the we have the coordinators, like we finally got them. Like Kellen Moore's dialing up great plays. Vic's up in the in the booth, which is kind of weird to see him, but he's up there like like the defensive god, like the like the late Jim Johnson. Yeah. He's up there. He's up there in the clouds with him. I want to just, I want to be. I want to leave being like, man, we, we, th- this is the season. I want to like have all of my ambitions validated from this game. Yeah, I want to score 40. 40? That's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. Let's dominate. Like you said, let's dominate. Let's get back. I mean, obviously, you know, scoring 34 is big, but you can't give up 29 either. Like, I want to dominate just like you said, every aspect. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm, uh... I'm looking forward to it, and uh, and yeah, man. I uh, let's. What, what's your, what's your final score prediction? Oh man, I'm very bad at this stuff. I don't know. I, I have no clue. I've never given that kind of thing a uh, thought. You know. Yeah, let's. I, see. I expect them to score seven or less. I guess I could say. You expect the Falcons to score seven or less? Yeah. Man, that's that's intense. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't want them getting anything going. I don't think they're that good. With with Cousins. But I'll also say this. I hated Cousins ever since the day that he beat the Eagles and then he said, yeah, how you like that? Into the tunnel with the Redskins. Yeah, I didn't like Yeah, that's yeah, like so that. He's dead to me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I guess I'll I'll say I'll say we put up thirty. Maybe maybe they score fourteen. Okay. I was thinking ten. I was gonna give them ten, but I didn't want to go back on it because I was, yeah. uh, gave them seven or less. Well, all right, man. Yeah, I think I think right. uh, I think we did we'll it. I think we, it up. Yeah, I think we did it all. Let's uh, let's let's get ready for Sunday. Let's go Monday. 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 Okay. Monday night. We'll see you next time. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you all.